It's Felicity from Get Your Records, and I'm here with a couple of the guys from Malifice. How are you doing today? Not bad, very well, very well. Very hot. Yes. Very hot. It is really sweaty today. Yeah, it really is sweaty. Bad. Hopefully it's going to calm down this evening slash for the rest of the weekend. I'd like to think so, but I'm not very confident. <laughs> I hope it does. I hope it does. We All we need is some cloud. Just a bit of cloud. But it needs to rain as well. Otherwise, it would just rain. be like, yeah, a bit like really humid and stuffy yeah, yeah. if there was just cloud. But also to set with dust as well. There's a lot of dust flying about. Oh, is that? I've yeah. not actually made it into the arena. Well, Bell actually managed to sweat the dust out of his skin during our set today. It was disgusting. On his t-shirt. Disgusting. What is that even? <laughs> big dust pits coming off the crowd at us, like constantly, constantly. I was wearing a white t-shirt and just come off and it's black. I was washing my mouth out, yeah. like spitting like mud. It's really bad, it's really, really bad. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it definitely needs to rain, <laughs> <laughs> it needs to rain no, a lot. It's a little bit rain, not too much. I don't drown it, but it's a little bit. Wow. Um, so how was the set anyway? Tell us all about it. Absolutely loved it. Really? Yeah. I've, I've, this is my biggest show I've played. <coughs> uh, biggest show I've played with these guys as well. Um, but yeah, really nervous beforehand, but so happy afterwards. Like, really great reaction from everyone. So I couldn't, I couldn't ask for more. That's really, really good. Yeah. There are people, um, I think they capped off our tent, like the first song in, they stopped people coming in, it was like one in, one out. So yeah, it was big, big queues of people. You weren't expecting that? No, no, not at all. People on top of each other, everyone just went for it. It was amazing, absolutely amazing. You guys have played here a long time ago, yeah. maybe. Am I getting that right? Am I getting my uh, festivals yeah, right? It was, did. wasn't it? Yeah. I think that is when I first met you, actually. With long hair. Um, <laughs> When was that? 2009, 2010? Yeah. Way before my time. Uh, yeah, I think, I think it was 2010, but I might be wrong. Uh, Somewhere around there. Yeah. When the Jaeger stage was a truck. Wow. That's when we played here. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> bit different today. Just a little bit. Just, just a little yeah. bit. Um, and you've also just fresh off touring with When We Were Wolves as well. Um, so how did that tour go? Lovely boys. We can't, we, can't, we can't say enough about those boys, really. Just great guys, great bands. A bit Welsh. Well. A bit, a little bit Welsh. Yeah. Try not to count against them too much, I guess. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. But no, we've got, we've, got a lot of, we've got a lot of time for them. It was a great tour as well. One of those, like, like today, we weren't expecting as much as we got on that tour and much of a turn up as well. We thought we were dead and buried, really. What? Yeah, like, we just didn't feel... We've been chewed up and spat out by the industry, like... Um, we didn't really know what, what to expect from A, that tour, and B, today, but I think we shut a few people up today, which is good. Really good for us. No, I mean, I guess I think, to be honest, depressingly, I think there is just so much utter crap going around in the industry nowadays yeah. that people don't really kind of hold that against bands in a way that they might have used yeah. to. Five guys are like playing metal that don't have a gimmick. We haven't got much going for us as far as <laughs> as far as that goes. So no, like ritual goat slaughter on the no, side. We haven't, oh, we, haven't, we haven't got any Japanese children singing for us either. So that, that's another mark down for us. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just not even gonna, not even gonna say anything to that. No, it's, it is. It's really, really difficult, though. Um, I mean, what? Are you, how? How are you doing with it all nowadays? Are you feeling like like you're in a better place with it? And are you feeling as though you can kind of come back from everything? I think we've come. I think we've come a full circle, um, which is what um, like the past twelve months have all been about. Like we we got James in on drums, um, wrote a whole raft of new material, started touring again, and people. Like people give a shit again, which is which is really good, really good. You, you know, you guys have been enjoying yourself now. Yeah, more, exactly. More than you have before. Which you know, good. we played, we opened download. The first part of the the first kind of big moment of our career um, was opening download, like in 2007, 2008. So that's how long we've been going. Like, uh, you know, this is going to be our sixth release, the one we've got coming up now. Um, you know, I'm 28 years old. I've been doing this since I was like 17, 18. So it's it's good to still be able to come here and, and still be able to do it. Um, and it's really humbling as well f from that point of view. I mean, what went wrong last time? And how are you thinking that you're going to avoid that this time? It's not it's not that anything really went wrong. It's just the industry has nosedived hard. And from a band that kind of caught the wave of how it used to be, it's really difficult, really difficult, because it's very much, everything's DIY now. You know, you get your first big record doing, you think, oh, I'm not gonna have to do anything anymore, like, it's all gonna work for me. You have to do even more. And, you know, as a young band, we learn a lot of lessons the hard way, and that's why we're now coming out of that a little bit stronger. I think also with this new EP as well, we haven't so much thought about 
what people want to hear kind of thing. We've just written music that we really enjoy and love. That we want to play live, yeah, basically. Exactly. So we, if, if, if we can enjoy it, then hopefully that goes around as well. Totally. And from the reaction we got from the new single we released uh, this week and playing it today, we've done something, we've done something right. Yeah. And how do you think you'll avoid kind of the same thing happening again? We just don't fucking care. So don't, take, yeah, yeah, don't take it too seriously. Like, yeah. If you care, anyone that comes into this music, into this, into this industry, expecting to earn a living, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry guys, but you know you're gonna have a hard wake up call. And that was the hardest thing for us. Now we don't really give a shit. We're doing this because we love it. We're doing it because we enjoy it, and that gets lost. You know when, you know we, we we've got accountants, we've got business managers, we've got management we've got labels we've got lawyers do you know what i mean when when you start when when your band starts turning into a business it's very very difficult to have a passion for it because it's your job and now we're just like it's what we do man this is what makes us us so regardless of all the money in the world like right now we're the richest people around because we're in love with what we do and i guarantee you 90% of the bands on this bill aren't in love with it People from the, do day to, normal day to day jobs dream of what we do. Yeah. You know, I think, as you said, I think people take, take it for granted and it's just a normal life. And I think we, and we, I think we, took, it, it I think we took it for granted. That, that, yeah. that was the biggest thing. We, were the massive, we massively took it for granted. We massively, like, not, you know, took it for granted in the sense that we didn't give a shit with, uh, like, with, with all the opportunities we were given, but we kind of lost our way a little bit. I think it becomes normal very, very quickly and yeah, you have yeah, to keep yeah. reminding yourself that actually it's not normal and that you are doing something that... Yeah. Um, but when you're surrounded by people that are doing the same thing as you, it's really hard to remember that what you're doing is so special and I think that's a yeah, big 100%. part of it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And, like, we're, you know, we fall, uh, like, short of being spoilt as well because, you know, every year since since we played Download, every year we've done a major U, U, just in the UK done a major UK festival for like seven eight years running so we are really spoiled as a band like been all over the world done played with the people we you know we grew up like, like worshipping um, so we definitely definitely spoiled definitely took it for granted and now you know we're here to have fun here to play metal well, that sounds really good. It's good to hear that you're in such a positive place with it. I've had the kill it signal from, <laughs> from Mark. Yeah. Um, but it really has been an absolute pleasure to talk to you. Um, and yeah, I mean, I have no doubt that we're going to see you over the rest of the weekend. Hope so, hope so. So, thank you.